Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Wherever we see the breaking of a brand new day, we should say thank you, Lord. Any day you see the breaking of a brand new day, say thank you, Jesus, giver of life, protector of my life. I say thank you. I say thank you. I say thank you. I say thank you. As we lift up our voices unto the Lord to worship him, to glorify his name, for he is good and his mercy endure it forever. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Let us worship him. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Lord, you are so good. Lord, you are kind. Lord, you are wonderful. How God, you are excellent. Lord, you are so good. Lord, you are kind. Lord, you are wonderful. Our God, you are excellent. Excellent is your name. Excellent is your power. Lord, you are wonderful. Our God, you are excellent. Excellent, excellent is your name, excellent is your power, oh Lord, you are wonderful, our God, you are excellent. Who is like unto thee? Oh Lord, who is like unto thee? Oh Lord, among the gods, who is like you? You are glorious in holiness, fearful in praises, always doing wonders. Hallelujah. Who is like unto thee? Oh Lord, who is like unto thee? Our God, among the gods, who is like thee? You are glorious in holiness, fearful in praises, always doing wonders, hallelujah. What manner of man is Jesus, hallelujah. What manner of man is Jesus, hallelujah. What manner of man is Jesus? Hallelujah, hallelujah. What manner of man is Jesus? Hallelujah. He makes a lane to walk. Hallelujah. He makes a blind to see. Hallelujah. He makes a lane to walk. Hallelujah, hallelujah. What manner of man is Jesus? Hallelujah. When the Spirit of the Lord is upon our hearts, we will dance like they did dance. When the Spirit of the Lord is upon our hearts, we will dance like they did dance. We will dance, we will dance, we will dance like they did dance. We will dance. We will dance, we will dance like David danced. When the Spirit of the Lord is upon our hearts, we will praise like David prayed. When the Spirit of the Lord is upon our hearts, we will praise like David prayed. We will praise, we will praise. We will pray like David prayed. Blessed be the name of the Lord. He is worthy to be praised and adorned. So we lift up holy hands in one accord. Singing blessed be the name. Blessed be the name. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Blessed be the name of the Lord. He is 
Worthy to be praised and adorned. So we lift up holy hands to one accord. Singing, blessed be the name. Blessed be the name. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Blessed be the name of the Lord. We will enter his gates with thanksgiving in our hearts. We will enter his courts with praise. We will say, this is the day that the Lord has made. We will rejoice for he has made us glad. We will rejoice for he has made us glad. He has made us glad. He has made us glad. We will rejoice for he has made us glad. He has made us glad. He has made us glad. We will rejoice for he has made us glad. He has made us glad. He has made us glad. We will rejoice for he has made us glad. Amen. And so shall it be in Jesus' name. May my Father, my Father, my Father, I thank you for all the gladness and joy you have put in my heart. I give you praise. I give you honor. I give you adoration for all the joy and gladness that you have planted in my heart. I give you praise. I give you praise. I give you praise. I give you praise because you are distributor of joy and you have distributed joy. You have distributed gladness into our life, into our family. And on this brand new day, because we have come to meet with this rebuttal of joy, our portion shall be joy. Our portion shall be gladness. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. In Jesus' name we pray. On this brand new day, tell the Lord, Father, bring honey out of the rock for me. Father, bring honey out of the rock for me today. Oh, God, my Father, bring honey out of the rock for me as I journey today. Father, bring honey out of the rock. Bring honey out of the rock. You know, that's a miracle. Honey doesn't come from rock. But God Almighty is the one who can bring honey out of rock, who can make impossibility to be possible, who performs signs and wonder innumerably. Oh, God, my Father, you are the distributors of joy. Bring honey out of the rock for me today. Father, in your own miraculous way, bring honey out of the rock for me. Bring honey out of the rock for my children. Declare it loud and clear. Father, bring honey out of rock for us today. Bring honey out of the rock for us today. In the name of Jesus, bring honey out of the rock for us today. In the name of Jesus. Every day the Lord blesses his children. That's why he taught us to pray that give us this day our daily bread. Declare loud and clear. Lord, bring honey out of the rock for me today. Bring honey out of the rock in all my endeavor today. Bring honey out of the rock for me today. Bring honey out of the rock for my family today. What you are saying is that God should bring, he should make impossibility to be possible. He should do what only him can do. He should use miracle to announce himself. He should let the world know that it's God who is always there. Oh God, my Father, bring honey out of wrath. Bring it out for us today in all our undertakings, in our journey. Bring honey out of the wrath and make your children's hearts to be glad. Make your children's hearts to be glad in the name of Jesus. Jacob, Jacob got hold of his angel of blessing. Many people will be sleeping when their angel of blessing is passing by. But I pray that you, you and I will not sleep and will not slumber in the arena of signs and wonders in Jesus' name. Declare it loud and clear. Oh God, my Father, let the angel of blessing that you have ordained for me. Let me meet my angel of blessing today. Don't allow my angel of blessing to pass me. You, my angels of blessing, anywhere you are on planet Earth, locate me today. Angel of my blessing. Angel of my blessing. That angel assigned to bless you. That angel assigned to help you. That angel assigned 
Father, angel of my blessing, locate me and bless me. Locate me and bless me. Declare it loud and clear. Angel of my blessing, locate me and bless me. Locate me and bless me. Locate me and bless me. Locate me and bless me in Jesus' name. And so shall it be in the name of Jesus. Declare it that any door that is open in my life and family for the enemy to mock me today. The word of God says, Thou shalt tread upon the lion and harder. The young lion and the dragon shall thou trample under your feet. That is victory right there. That is victory pronounced upon us. Because the word of God says in Romans 16, 20, he said, And the God of peace shall bruise Satan under your feet shortly. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with you. I pray that any, any avenue for serpent and scorpion to bite today, the Lord shall bruise him, bruise his plan under our feet today in the name of Jesus. Any avenue that is open in my life for the enemy to mock me, Father, let that avenue be closed by the blood of Jesus. Any door that is open in my life and family for the evil one to mock me, for the evil one to say, where is my God? Oh God, my Father, let that door be closed. 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 In the name of Jesus. Yes. Whatever door that is open, the life of anyone here, in the life of our spouse, our children, any door that is open for the adversary to enter, any back door that can make problem and trouble to enter our life, to enter our home, let that door be closed by mercy now. Be closed by mercy. Be closed by mercy. Be closed by mercy. Be closed by mercy in Jesus' name. Hour of trouble has been programmed against this generation. Say, oh God, my Father, save me from the hour of trouble programmed in this day. Save me, oh Lord. Save my family. Save my children. Save me, my going out, coming in. From the hour of trouble that has been programmed on into this day. Father, save us from the hour of trouble. Save our children. Save us in our going out. Save us in our coming in. Save us from the hour of trouble that has been programmed against this day in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. In Joshua 1 verse 5, said, There shall not any man be able to stand before you all the days of your life. As I was with Moses, so will I be with you, and I will not fail thee, nor forsake thee. That is the promise of God for you. That is the promise of God for me. That is the promise of God for everyone. That there shall be no man that will be able to stand against you. Be clear, loud and clear. Say, I paralyze every opposition programmed against my favor. Be paralyzed completely in Jesus' name. Every opposition to my healing, opposition to my favor, Opposition to my breakthrough. Be paralyzed in the name of Jesus. Every strong man programmed against my favor today. Programmed against my answer prayer. The word of God said there shall be no man that will be able to stand against you. Mark a post by the word of God. Every antagonism, every opposition against favor. Opposition against answer prayer in the name of Jesus. Let their power be paralyzed, be paralyzed, be paralyzed, be paralyzed, be paralyzed. In the name of Jesus, a dream of demotion, dream of backwardness, dream of demotion, dream of backwardness, clear off in Jesus' name. Dream of demotion. When you dream that you still go back home, you are still serving your friend that you haven't seen in 30 years. Dream of demotion. You are the only one they give room to sleep somewhere. Dream of demotion. Make post Dream of demotion. Be cancelled. Be cancelled. Be cancelled. Be cancelled. Be cancelled. Be cancelled. Dream of failure. Be cancelled in Jesus' name. Be cancelled. Be cancelled in Jesus' name. 
there shall not any man be able to stand before thee all the days of your life. As the Lord was with Moses, as he was with Joshua, the Lord promised to be with you. Say, O oh God, my Father, O oh God, my Father, in all that I will do today, let your presence be with me. Let your presence be with my children. Let your presence be with me all the time. My Father, let your presence be with me. Let your presence be with me. Let your presence be with my household. In the name of Jesus. He said, there shall no evil before you. As you are going out today, as you embark on your journey, he said, neither shall any plague come near your dwelling. You need to declare it. Say, as I go out today, as I come in, there shall no evil before me, says the Lord. There shall no evil before my children. There shall no evil before my, my family. There shall no evil before my property. There shall no evil before my name. There shall no evil before me in the morning, at noon, at night, by the word of God. There shall no evil before us in the name of Jesus. There shall no evil before anyone in this place in Jesus' name. In the name of Jesus, by the word of God, there shall no evil before me. Declare it loud and clear. Declare it with authority. The word of God is quick and powerful. By the word of God today, there shall no evil before anyone here. There shall no evil before any of our children. All the evil that have been programmed in this day, all the evil that have been programmed in the sun, in the moon, in the star, in the water, in the food, on the road, may recap us in that. Let them be consumed by fire. Let any evil program in the belly of this day for anyone here, let it be consumed by fire. In the name of Jesus. Life of no plague. The word of God said there shall be no evil before you in Psalm 91 verse 10. He said, neither shall any plague come near your dwelling. One thing about the word of God is that the word is there, waiting for somebody to make use of it. If you are smart, you will make use of it. But if you are not smart, you will start stressing yourself up. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know if I'm, uh, I don't want to be sick. Oh, I don't want plague to come near me. You must reinforce the word. By the word of God, there shall be no plague come near my body. Declare it loud and clear. By the living word of God. By the armor power of the word of God, by the fire power of the word of God, by the living power in the word of God, there shall no plague come near my children, declare it. There shall no plague come near my unborn baby. There shall no plague come near my husband. Pray very well. Somebody called me one day and said, uh, they, they said the, they did scan and the baby there is something happened to the baby in the womb. I said, the word of God says, there shall be no plague come near you. Don't listen to them. And lo and behold, when they born the baby, nothing happened to the baby. Because the word of God says, there shall be no plague. There shall be no plague come near you. One thing about the word of God, you either believe it or you under, underestimate it. But if you can believe the word of human being over your life, you might as well esteem the word of God. He said, there shall be no plague come near your dwelling. Any plague in your body now, any disease in your body, command them to depart by fire, by the word of God. The, the word of God said, there shall be no plague come near thee. Any plague that is roaming around anyone here, any plague in the breast, any plague in the womb, any plague in the hive, any plague manifesting in the body of anyone here, in the name of Jesus, let it dry up, 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 let it dry up in Jesus' name. By the mandate of God, there shall be no plague. No matter how plague is roaming around, no matter how plague is afflicting people, by the living word of God, every family presented here, there shall be no plague coming near you. There shall be no plague coming near us. 
There shall be no plague coming near our children. There shall be no plague coming near our territory. There shall be no plague coming near our household in the name of Jesus. That's why you have to understand the kind of people you are. Not everybody the Lord said that to. But his own, he said, whoever dwell in the secret place of the Most High. Whoever dwell in the secret place of the Most High. Whoever hide themselves under the wing and umbrella of the Lord. No plague shall come near you. Declare it loud and clear that no plague, whether I go out to work in my profession, as I do my daily job, as my, I go to store, no plague shall come near my dwelling. When anybody that has plague is coming and they are coming to our place, that plague will stop outside until they finish. Because the word of God says, no plague shall come near thy dwelling. You either believe the word of God and you leave it. The Bible made us to know that in the, in the land of Egypt, in the land of Egypt, they were being afflicted by the plague of God. But in Goshen, in Goshen, where the children of Israel, where they abode, in Goshen, no plague there. No plague was found there. Because God is faithful to his promise. God is faithful to his promise. During the time of plague, in the land of uh, Egypt, the Lord God distinguished his own people. The Lord Almighty did not allow the Israelites to suffer the plague. That's why that Goshen was in the midst of the, of the land of Egypt. That's why the people there, they were suffering the plague of God. Because Egypt was an idolatrous nation. They rebelled against God. Goshen was part of Egypt. But they were not afflicted. And today, Goshen represents a place in God. When we decide to live a spiritual Goshen life, we will not live a compromised life. Goshen is, is a place where God prepares for his children to hide them, to defeat pain, to defeat plague for them so that they will not go to their promised land with plague. Plague are not meant for us. In the book of Exodus, Exodus chapter 8, quickly, before we go this morning, Exodus chapter 8, thank you, Holy Spirit. Something is happening that the children of Israel, they are not, they are immune against it. Exodus chapter 8. We're going to look at verse 22, and we're going to look at Exodus 9, 26. Exodus 8, 22. And I will serve in that day I will savor in that day the land of Goshen, in which my people dwell, that no swarms of flies shall be there to the hand, that thou may know that I am the Lord in the midst of the heart. And in verse 23, says, And I will put a division between my people and thy people. Tomorrow shall this be. The Lord sent swarm of flies to bring plague upon the rebellious nation, Egypt. But the Lord said, in the land of Goshen, where my children reside, there shall be no flies there. And in verse 24, and the Lord did so. And there came a grievous swarm of flies into the house of Pharaoh and into the house of his servant's house. 
and into all the land of Egypt. The land was corrupted by reason of the swarm of flies. And Pharaoh called for Moses and Aaron and said, Go ye, sacrifice to your God in the land. The Lord did so mean, and there was fly everywhere. But on that day, the Lord made a difference between the land of Goshen and the, the people of Egypt. He said, where my people live, no swarm, no flies will be there, so that you will know that I am the Lord, and I'm the owners of this land. The Lord owns heaven and earth. You have nothing to fear. All you have to understand is how to dwell where God wants you to dwell. Despite there is covenant of God on Goshen, when the people of Israel, when they come out of Goshen and begin to live an Egyptian life, they are not going to be protected. So we have to understand how to live a spiritual Goshen life, not to be overcome by sin, not to compromise. This is not a time for Christians to compromise their faith. This is a time to cleave to the Lord God who owns the land, who owns the water, who owns the heaven, who owns everything. Because he said on that day, meaning a day of judgment, a day of, uh, of God's judgment has been programmed. But on that day, I will deal differently with the land of Goshen. I pray for the grace to live in a spiritual Goshen in the name of Jesus. When you look at Exodus chapter 9, Exodus 9, 26, the Lord sent hail, the plague of hail, and fire again to the land of Egypt. And when you look at it from verse 24, so there was hail and fire mingled with the hail, very grievous, such as there was none like it in all the land of Egypt since it became a nation. And the hail smooth throughout all the land of Egypt, all that was in the field, both man and beast, and the air smooth every herb of the feed and break every tree of the feed. Mark 26. Mark it. It said, only in the land of Goshen, where the children of Israel were, were there no ill. Only in the land of Goshen. Pray this morning that Father put your put spiritual mark your spiritual mark, put it upon my life, put it upon my property, put it upon my habitation. Only in the land of Goshen, where the children of Israel were, was there no ill. Only in the land of Goshen, only where the children of God is, anointing of God, mark of the living God. Father, put it upon the body of your children. Mark of touch not my children. Mark of plague shall, it shall see the, the blood and pass over you. Father, put that mark upon every life here. The mark of the blood of Jesus. The mark of your chosen one. The mark, like the one you put on Goshen. Put it upon our house. Put it upon our territory. Put it upon the body of your children. We are in the world. We cannot stop to walk. We cannot stop to do what we need to do. But we pray, Lord, as the children of Israel were in Goshen and the, 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 the seas, the plague did not come near them. Lord, I pray that the mark of the blood of Jesus Christ, you will engrave it upon your children afresh. The grace for us to dwell in spiritual Goshen, Lord, you will give us that grace today in Jesus' name. People are supposed to be wise and live in spiritual Goshen and follow the offer of God. I pray that we shall be wiser than our enemy. Father, let your presence always be with us. Let your presence always be with our family. Father, as Goshen was separated by the mark of God, as Goshen was separated that no plague could enter there, Father, let the life of your children be separated from plague, from every infirmity and attack of the enemy in Jesus' name. 
let immunity by the blood of Jesus, the precious blood that was shed by his stripes is what brought healing to us. Let the blood of Jesus cover everyone here. Let the blood of Jesus cover all our children. Make our life, our habitation a goshen. We are plague could not enter. We are sickness could not enter. We are calamity could not enter in Jesus' name. The same God that protected the children of Israel and hid them in Goshen. The same God is the God you and I are serving today. And if he did that for the Israelites because they obey him, I decree today that Goshen anointing, Goshen protection shall be upon every life here in the name of Jesus. No plague shall come near you. Any plague that by mistake that has come, in the name that is above every other name. Let that plague fade away in Jesus' name. By the living word of God, by the living word of God, during the plague, God differentiates between Goshe and Egypt. I pray that that shall be our own testimony as well in Jesus' name. Ten plague was released to humble the Egypt. But the children of God, they were not permitted to experience plague. I pray over every family represented in this place. By the reason of the anointing of Goshen, no plague will afflict anyone here. No plague will afflict our children. No plague will afflict any members of our family. No plague will come near our territory in Jesus' name. As plague, could not enter Goshen. Plague will not enter your body. Plague will not enter your children's body. Plague will not enter your territory in Jesus' name. Any plague manifest in the land shall be far from us in Jesus' name. The precious blood of Jesus be immunity upon your life, upon my life, upon all our children, upon our territory, in the name of Jesus. Father, we thank you because you are a promise-keeping God. The scriptures say God is the same yesterday, today, and forever. Father, we thank you for the oil of Goshen, for the special privilege that we have, Lord, as your chosen. We give you glory. I pray, O oh Lord, that we shall not be lured to Egyptian lifestyle in Jesus' name. I pray, O oh Lord, that your, your people, people will see different between your children and the children of the world in Jesus' name. We have brought our water unto you. Father, bless it by your power. Let the water and the blood that flow from the arms of Jesus flow there in the name of Jesus. Let it become spiritual blood of Jesus. Let it become spiritual cleansing. Let it become spiritual medicine. As we drink it and bathe with it, let it be mark of blood of Jesus upon our body. Let it neutralize every uh, uh, every plague, every stranger. Let them fade away as we drink it. Every sickness must fade away. Every disease must dry up. In the name of Jesus, as we think we eat in our territory, over our car, in our property, let our land be sanctified and become Goshen of our day in Jesus' name. Father, we just thank you for being our health and healing in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. Amen and amen in Jesus' name. Do you have time today? Go and read in Exodus. All the ten plagues they, they were never allowed to come to Israel because of the covenant of God upon them. I pray that we shall be wiser than our enemy. This is not a time to compromise our faith. This is not a time to joke around. And the mercy of God be upon every life here in the name of Jesus. And all that you have used to appreciate God as your seed, the Lord has said it in Jesus' name. The Lord bless you and the Lord keep you. The Lord make his face to shine upon you. The Lord be gracious unto you. The Lord lift up his countenance upon you. The great name of God of Abraham, 
God of Isaac and God of Jacob, be established in the life of everyone here. The great name of God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob protect you, defend you, and bless you as you go now in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' awesome name we pray. Amen. Amen and amen in Jesus' name. Be free when you want to break your fast. We always observe fasting to certain time today as well. Don't say it's too much, you. You, use, you drink your water first. You sprinkle it in your household. It will help us to live a spiritual life of Goshen. And the Lord will be faithful to his promise in your life. No plague will come near you. The miracle of ten plague not coming to Israelite shall be our own testimony as well. The Lord be with you. Join us 9 p.m. again. This is Segundo Gumon Giga Prayer Line Ministry. Enjoy your day in Jesus' name.